Ladies and gentlemen, Samsung has delivered the third beta to One UI 6.0. Of course, this is Android 14. In this video, we're going to take a look at that new version of One UI 6.0 and go over some of the biggest features found therein. All right, so I just rebooted. We are in One UI 6 beta 3 on the S23 Ultra. We are running, as you can see there, just finished. We are on 5.1.1 on the Z Fold device over here to give a contrast. We can kind of see what these differences are. Of course, I've already done two prior videos. So there's gonna be features that are in those prior updates, beta one and beta two, that I'm not gonna talk about here. These are just going to be beta number three features. So if we jump into the gallery application and we fire up a video, you can see that there are some pretty big changes here. Look at the way that these buttons are before, sort of scattered around on the screen in some various areas on the new version, beta three, they're all down here at the bottom in a much more organized way. And the play and skip buttons are actually up here on the video. I maybe would like to have this back down here again, a lot of empty space down here probably could have done a combination of these two, but again, more organized, you could say, here. And there's also a quick access to the playback speed down there as well. If we jump into device care, you'll see this performance section. Let's go into auto optimize and you'll see there are some differences here. Restart when needed versus auto restart. And then you can see that option as well as restart on a schedule. Perhaps you want this thing to just reboot every night at 3 a.m. Well, you could jump in and have that exact thing happen. If we back out here, you'll also see this performance profile showing up there, standard versus light. I believe that has moved before. That was under battery. And then was it more battery settings? Yes, so they've just basically put that into a different location. If we start playing some media, you can see some differences already. This media player can be expanded or shrunk down. Obviously, we've already talked about this in another video, but the style of it is completely different. But beyond that, the state it is in, either being maximized or condensed, it will now remember that state. So let's go ahead and maximize them both. We'll go home on both. And if we take a look, we've minimized over here. We've stayed maximized here. Let's go ahead and shrink it down and we'll do the same thing. It's going to remember that state. And I believe that that also carries over to the lock screen. If we go ahead and do that, let's lock it again. And it's going to, again, remember that state. I also really like that. That's kind of different than the pixel version, but pretty cool. Now, this last one I'm going to talk about is something that's actually already on the Z Fold, but maybe it's rolling out to other devices now. Temporary cloud backup. If you're going to reset your device, what this will allow you to do is back up all the data on your Samsung device, in this case, the S23 Ultra, do your reset and then download that stuff back free of charge. I've never done this before. I'm assuming that this is going to pull back pretty much all of your data. Good to see this expanding onto other devices. Either way, let's go ahead and jump into the software update and take a look at the last software update. And you can see here there's a bunch of bugs that have been fixed as well. If you want to pause and zoom in here, you can. But there's quite a few bugs being patched here that I'm not going to go through and dig into. There you go, guys. Those are some of the biggest features in the new One UI 6.0 beta number three. If I missed anything that was hidden away in this update, drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe before you go. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.